once tonight. I don't want you to be part of this. Okay. For so whatever reason, that. for whatever reason, you're yeah, calling you my the granddaughter okay. on her phone. Well, our children are so on let me the explain right that. side of this. So let me wall. explain why the granddaughter I called. Can I explain that first before we? It's a little scary that you're calling my granddaughter at her house. And can I explain how that happened? Yeah. Probably okay. through the the paramedics it's because she had an yeah. issue. So yeah. I'll explain you exactly how that happened. I ran that license plate number, right? Because I had to figure out who is going on, what's going where. Your name is registered to the truck, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I asked our dispatchers to look up your name history. Somebody got called about a seizure here from she that did. phone number. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's how I got the phone okay. number. Okay. Are we clear? Right. Okay. That, that's a common thing that, that we do. Well, in order she came to... in terrified and woke us up. And I yeah. tried explaining it to her. Well, she, but she's we obviously taught her okay. that strangers... Do I'm not, not a stranger, mean, and I'm going to give you a business well, card with all my information. Can, no, I okay. believe you seen you. Okay. So but, here's the thing. But, That's how that happened. So we can we squash that out as far as that goes? Okay. So we don't need to get hit over that. Okay. Now, can I explain the reason why I'm here? But in yes. detail. Yeah, sure. Okay, yeah. without being cut off for a minute. No problem. Because okay? yeah. first off, I don't know what your guys' relation is to the Nielsen Homes, to the lot, to anything like that. That's yeah. why I'm here to that ask. That lot about. is nothing to do with us. Okay, so that's all I'm here to investigate. Okay. I get called by two different people, okay? Um, I can't disclose that, but you're more than welcome to get the police report later on and look for it yourself. That's your guys' right to do so, okay? I get called here saying that there's people matching your description as well as a small child, and I don't know if your children are out there as well, playing on the big track hoe right across the street, okay? People were concerned because it is, at the time, it was like 1.30 in the morning. Okay. Okay. Sure. Um, and in this case, obviously, people have been drinking, so it's a cause for concern for police to come out I and make sure everybody's yeah. fine. And so that's why I'm here. As I get here, I hear from the street, I hear talking, not yelling, just talking. I see all the lights are on. I see the cars. I figure to myself, because I'm not an investigator, like you said, right. but I'm not a moron, so I consider these guys may or may not be the case. So my job now is to figure out whether or not everybody's safe. All that would have taken is you answer the door. Yeah, we're doing it. We're stupid. Sorry. Have a good night. I would have said goodbye yeah. and gone that way. Which isn't as the case. soon as I rang the doorbell and I knocked on the door okay. politely once the first time, lights shut off, people get quiet, nobody answers the door, right? So I knock again, ring the doorbell again. Same thing happened, all right? So that's when I started going to do what my next job is, is to figure out why. Because now that is a suspicious circumstance, is it not? People are not wanting to talk to me when I'm here to mm -hmm. investigate a crime. That's, that's exactly what's going on. Uh, children seeing. What was that? children seeing cops okay but you guys are adults right okay and you're right. the ones that are responsible for those children so but it's I after hours when you think you need to be responsible for those children because they're in bed until they hear the door okay so yeah, i don't i don't care if the kids don't answer the phone or the door but when the adults don't answer because obviously you guys weren't in bed you guys are I don't know. I put these on. Oh, okay. Sleep okay. I, I apologize then. But do you understand that's where I'm coming right. from? Understood. So I have to. My job is I can't just walk away, especially if they described it as a smaller child. I don't know if it was the, the granddaughter there, that if they thought it was her because she looks younger, or if it was actually a younger child. But if there is a younger child playing on heavy equipment, I just simply have to say stop and make sure that you guys well, are not letting them do that. Yeah, I got you. Okay. But Frank, this is the issue that I have with you. Okay. You are in your house. Right. That's fine, okay? But you can't act this way in the middle of a in the middle of an investigation. It is called disorderly conduct. You have to identify and you have to at least participate if you want to claim your fifth amendment right and, and invoke your lawyer, that is great and fine. But then my job at that point, if I'm in the middle of investigating a crime, is to take you to jail, at least to my office, in order to provide a, a more fair investigation with your lawyer present. But nobody wants to do that because but because here's the thing. I'm not going to charge anybody for trespass. Well, and you I'm going to simply to say, knock defense. it off. And you don't want to write up a report. I, I understand. Know, but the, that. I, know. I have a report either way. It's his birthday. Well, I happy got birthday. I saw the thing in there. Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. I, I had him. I gave yeah. him drinks. Okay. okay. Let's go. Uh, and so I, he's normal. Well, then happy birthday. But you probably seem like you're normally not an asshole. No. Because mm. nah, this isn't a place where, is. well. Yeah. He, he wants to not be an asshole. <laughs> I, let, let me put it this way. For the people I generally deal with on a daily basis, this, I'm usually not up in this area. I know. Okay. Well, I don't want to cause any issues either. But That's I mean, what I said. We I mean, were more why concerned of why, why is somebody parking in our driveway all night? That well, was, do you have any questions kids, now, though, after explaining what no, I said? No, that's fine. Okay. I mean, I don't want any issues. Well, I mean, our kids just freaked yeah, out. Yeah, they freaked out over it. we were it. in bed. So, so okay. okay. our problem is we have the event. And, I, and, and that's why I was wondering why nobody answered the door because I. Anytime you have the security system, it only rings where you have that security pad. 
so it's not like in our same space. No. Okay. no. Well, so, let me do this and just get out of your hair because here's the deal. I, you're right. I don't want to have to write a big old report. This. I don't want to have to because yeah. I'm not going to charge anybody for criminal trespass. I knew yeah. that from the moment I got here, but. But you, you were acting like a dick. I but, was, but I, I was, have to do sure. my job. Sure. I so did. I need to still document That's the conversation fine. we had. So whatever you need, I just need your phone number now. 435 760 2033. And so I can get her information off of your name. What is your phone number? 801-941-9880. Okay. Amanda Nelson. I, I had your driver's license stuff off okay. of your truck, so I don't need anything else. Although, your address is wrong, so you want to change that. I've changed it. It's probably your old address. No, no, no. Uh, you change it, but you change it to the wrong address. This is 1350 East, not 1305. Oh, that was the You just swapped, or they did. But, that was them. But either way, if, um, in fact, can I see your ID one more time? No problem. Yeah, it's the Just do this. You don't, need, you don't need to order a new one. Just do this. You got this a smart phone. This probably a yeah. So, 